Asia is just as rich as Europe for the compelling field of paleontology. In 2008, while a fisherman was collecting his fishing nets near the Pengu Islands off the coast of Taiwan, he found a partial archaic mandible. When handed over to the scientists for further investigation, they said that this partial jawbone may indicate the existence of a previously unknown archaic hominin species and they called the specimen the Pengu Man and proper description of the fossil was not given until 2015. Also called Pengu 1, the fossil jaw found consists of a nearly complete right lower jaw with four teeth, including molars and premolars, and is extremely thick with gigantic teeth. Researchers have been able to determine that it is the mandible of a previously unknown species and that it was probably very similar to Homo erectus but larger. Due to the features of the specimen, they have not been able to date the fossil, so they are not sure when the species was alive. But immediately, they were able to determine that the jawbone did not belong to a member of Homo sapiens, the only surviving human species, due to the absence of one key feature which is the chin and it has a very transversely thick mandibular body, especially in the part that has the molar teeth. The Pengu 1 mandible has a flat anterior surface that recedes downward. This indicates that it belongs to either a previously unknown subgroup of Homo erectus or an entirely separate hominin species. The jawbone size further reveals that Pengu 1 was not a dwarf, unlike tiny Homo floresiensis, which lived on the island of Flores, Indonesia, where other animals were also smaller than usual. Instead, they lived on what was then mainland Asia in an ecosystem that included many other animals. Besides Pengu Man and Pengu One, the fossil was also named Homo cytangensis based on the jaw and tooth proportions and in honor of the fossil collector who donated the fossil to the museum in Taichung and as well as the author of the initial specific report named Chun Xiang Chang. In the paper, Chang explains that it is far more difficult to ascertain the age of underwater findings, particularly when a fossil was caught in a fishing net rather than carefully unearthed by paleontologists. This was not the first fossil found in the seabed. These undersea sites have remarkable potential and many other fossils including those of Neanderthal, elephants and even hyenas were found. Now, they all knew that the mandible found was that of an archaic man, but the question was where does this man fit in the fossil record? Without collagen preserved in the bone, it was difficult finding out the age of the fossil. But Chang and his colleagues found a way to at least try and get a rough estimate of the year this fossil belonged to. They used their own method to establish if the mandible is the same age as the fossil hyena bones found from the same Pengu channel by testing their relative fluorine content. The hyenas are a variety that existed in the region mainly after 400,000 years ago up to the late Pleistocene, so the researchers infer that the mandible probably dates to this later component of the Asian Pleistocene fossil record until future research gives us another number. Pengu 1 constitutes the first proof that archaic relatives of modern humans lived in Taiwan. Researchers also say that population of this fossil was probably alive up to 200,000 years ago, which means there is a possibility that they survived until the appearance of Homo sapiens in the region. To date, the fossilized mandible is without question the most significant discovery that has emerged from the channel, particularly as it is notably different from almost all other hominin finds in the region. The discovery of Pengu 1 marks as an important step in efforts by regional researchers to improve their understanding of the archaic creatures that lived in East Asia during the Pleistocene epoch. While Pengu 1's precise identity remains a mystery for now, researchers are sure that this big-toothed human was not a member of our species. 
but regardless of whether it comes from an entirely new species or a rare variant of Homo erectus, the jawbone highlights the diversity of archaic human populations on the continent. Thanks for watching guys. Do tell me what you thought of this video and do let me in on your opinions of the Pengu man in the comments section down below. For more related videos, do check our channel out and do not forget to support us by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel. Till then, this is Halabella and see you soon in our next video.